Hi, my name is Adrian Simmons, and I'd like to take just a few minutes to demonstrate for you five new or enhanced features of QuickBooks 2011 that I hope you'll find useful. Um, so let me just go into the QuickBooks data file, and we're looking at the home screen, and this is a sample data file that comes with the QuickBooks software. I always recommend that as you experiment with new features, you should open one of those SAMPA data files just to learn how it works, and so you don't accidentally mess up your actual data. But the first feature I want to talk about was batch invoicing. Batch invoicing is a way that you can record multiple invoices at the same time. In the past, you would have had to either do them individually, or you would have had to create a memorized transaction, memorized transaction group. Either way, it was very cumbersome and took a lot of time, but it's been made much easier in QuickBooks 2011. And you can get to it simply by going to the Customers menu, and clicking on Create Batch Invoices. So once you go into Batch Invoices, there's three steps. The first one is to select who you're going to invoice in this batch. And you can do that by just selecting different names from the list. You can select groups of names. You can select everybody. And you can even do searches for different customer types um, or customer names or states for common characteristics. In this case, I'm going to go down and simply select all the W's in this group. And I'm going to add them into who I'm going to batch invoice. If I find myself invoicing this group frequently, I may even want to create a billing group. And I can save it so that next time I don't have to go through the selection process again. It'll all be automatically be set up for me. So I've selected my group. Next thing I can do is hit Next. From here, I define what's actually going to be on the invoice. And I'll go ahead and say custom landscape design for $55. Double check my date's good. Double check that the default invoice template is the one I want. Assuming that looks good, I'll just move to the next screen. And in this step, QuickBooks shows me all the invoices it's about to post. You'll notice that in creating the invoices, it pulls from the customer profile for things like payment terms, send method, sales tax rates. So to the extent you have that stuff already set up on the customer profile, it makes those batch invoices automatically populate with the right information. So I'll take a quick glance at these. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and create these invoices. And they post into the system. And just to see, I'm going to go into the Customer Center, scroll on down, take a look. Yep, and there it is, an invoice in the amount of $55 that I just posted. Now you notice one thing when I pulled up this invoice is the second feature I wanted to show you, which is Customer History. In the Customer History, it automatically shows me some basic data on the customer that this invoice relates to. For instance, their phone number, uh, their open balance. Uh, their recent transactions, as well as any notes that I've been keeping. And I can even edit those notes from here so that while I'm working on an invoice, I may want to make a quick note to the side for myself. It all shows up in there. So this customer history, I think, is a great little feature. Um, allows you to get at information without having to root around in the program. It automatically shows up when you do estimates, invoices, sales receipts, purchase orders, bills, and if you're receiving inventory. So uh, I think a great little feature. Of course, if you don't like it, you can tuck it away to the side um, and then pull it out when you're ready to look at it. So that's the second feature, feature, the customer history. Now let's say I want to go ahead and just tweak this batch invoice. And before I send it out to the client, I'm going to add a tree removal service. And I'm going to say PDQ Oak. And we'll say $100. And I'm going to save and close this invoice. Now, it's a week later. I'm trying to remember who I invoiced for PDQ Oak. I can't remember the name. I can't remember the dollar amount. But I want to do a search to try to find that invoice, because I remember PB PDQ. Uh, QuickBooks has always had a find feature. And it's also had a search feature. But in QuickBooks 2011, the search feature has really been enhanced. And I think you'll find it useful. It's pretty much almost Google-like, where it looks throughout the entire data file to see where information may be stored. So 
It can be accessed right from the edit menu, or it's also available by default from the toolbar, search. I'm going to click on that, and the first thing I'm going to want to do is update the search database for new information. For instance, that invoice I just input. I'll hit update. The update's done. And now I'm going to do my search, PDQ. Look at that, I've got two invoices with PDQ on them. And from them I can open, see that invoice right here, and I was able to find it really quickly. The other thing that's neat is from this search results, I can receive a payment as well as email the invoice. And that brings me to the fourth feature I wanted to mention, which is webmail integration. For webmail integration, in the past you could use the QuickBooks email service, but now you can also use regular webmail services like Gmail, Yahoo, and Hotmail to send out your invoices, and that way they're going through your history as opposed to just QuickBooks's email systems. Now because this is a sample data file, I can't send an email, but if I were, all I would need to do is set that up in my preferences. So if I go to Edit, Preferences, then go to the Send Forms group, I say Send Email Using Webmail, and I'm going to add my account, and let's say it's a Yahoo account. I'll just add that information in here, and next time when I want to send an email, I'll be able to select my Yahoo account to send it from, which I think is a great service and hopefully makes that a little less clunky um, than before. So that was the fourth item, webmail integration. The fifth item I wanted to go over, the last one, is the customer snapshot screen. Now for a couple of editions, QuickBooks has had the company snapshot, which gives you an overview of the company's activity, such as sales, accounts receivable, etc. But in the 2011 version, they've added a customer snapshot. And the customer snapshot is just an easy way to get out basic information. For instance, maybe we were talking with a client on the phone, and it sort of shows you different activity in that relationship. For instance, this is, lets me know that this person has been a customer for basically three years. On average, that takes them 58 days to pay the invoice. And currently, right now, they have a $40 open balance. Um, I can also see what the items th that they normally purchase from me are, as well as their recent invoices, payments, and each of these things can be closed, reordered, based on what I'm actually interested in seeing. I'm going to drag this over here. So I can completely customize that. If I want to add in those little modules I had before, I can simply add them back in. But I think all this information was in the customer center before, but it's just easier to see, I think, in this setup, and, uh, and hopefully you'll find yourself using that as well. So those are the, the five features I wanted to share with you. I hope at least one of them was something you'll find interesting. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a ring. Uh, information is here on the screen. I hope you all are having a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.